So yeah, I'm back home. I'm back in Liverpool for about a week now uh, before I'm going back to South Wales. Uh, some of you do know of uh, both my parents are quite unwell at the moment, so I've been spending a lot of time there. Back in Liverpool after nine to ten weeks, though, it's quite weird waking up in your bed after you've been sleeping in numerous beds for such a long time. Because when I woke up today, I didn't even know where I was. But yeah, so I decided today to just finish um, editing the Tunisia series. We were literally in Tunisia last week, if you watched uh, last week's video, channel update video, which I did on the rooftop of the museum in Hammamet, which was incredible. The weather on that day, I could not ask for anything better. It was amazing. It was just so good. And the, the ocean, like the, the colors and stuff, like just watching back the footage now, uh, just took a screenshot of myself for one of the thumbnails in it and the, the screenshot looks really nice because everything's just vibrant with colour especially walking through the Medina with um, the oceanic blues they paint the doors with and and stuff like that it's so nice just to look back at the footage and stuff like that um, I'm, I'm not doing YouTube like like professionally or like I wouldn't say it's like a career path I'm like pursuing but I'm really enjoying like just getting out there and filming stuff and it's though though I do public speaking I have to public speak numerous times walking around with camera is just a different ball game and you you just get used to it as you're doing it so I'm still like not out of my shell properly when I'm out vlogging I think I've only been vlogging for three months now so I can't be too heavy on myself about that but yeah being out and talking to the camera and stuff still getting used to it it's easier when you're abroad because no one knows what you're saying and people if they see you with a camera abroad they just assume you're a tourist anyway so it's like you know it's you don't have that pressure of people walking around you going you know what i mean so yeah it's brilliant so yeah i'm back home for about a week now and i've noticed that there's a couple of channels i've been watching while i've been away and stuff i've really been enjoying them so i'm probably going to give those a plug at the end of this video uh, I, found, I, I found that quite inspiring because um, the, the, it just makes you realise that there is an audience out there for everyone and especially the type of content I've been watching as well. So, and I've noticed that people are doing this thing called Vlogmas where they're doing like a new video every day for like December up until the New Year's. Obviously it's like December the 8th today. I don't know what day you, you guys are going to be watching this video. Maybe today actually um, or tomorrow the 9th. Or today's the ninth, maybe. I don't know what day it is. I've been I've been away for that long. It is the ninth today, so yeah, you guys might be getting this video on Tuesday, tomorrow, which is the tenth. Yeah, I don't know where I am. Liverpool, back in Liverpool. Yeah, so I got back to Liverpool yesterday, and I was luckily enough to see the HMS Prince of Wales, which is an aircraft carrier, which is parked up right by the pier head. Um, they were going to allow the public on on Saturday, but because of the weather was so bad, they had this makeshift scaffold connect, which allowed people to walk onto the ship public. But because the weather was so bad, just using like a makeshift scaffolding platform was probably not safe enough anyway. So they, they've disallowed the public to access the air carrier. Um, the ship is meant to be leaving yesterday, so it might have left last night. Which is a shame, really, because if you imagine walking across the top of an aircraft carrier and you've got like a helicopter and then you've got like a Harrier jump jet just next to you, that would have been wicked. I'm not into like boys' toys, like an adult boys' toys, like army stuff, but just seeing the grand scale of that ship last night as we drove past. It just made me feel like it, there was like a a superstar destroyer just parked up, you know, Star Wars reference, just parked up on the pier head. It was incredible. So I'll overlay some footage as we drove past it. It was so good. And for something of that military pedigree to be parked up in the Liverpool pier head, that it didn't feel like security was crazy. But I can imagine that there would be a lot of uh, plain closed security walking around that ship anyway so back to the vlogmas thing obviously we're into december now and the the vlogmas thing is something i could pro potentially do because 
I could do a 20 minute video every day of some like just going somewhere random or if I happen to go somewhere I don't mind filming as I'm there but we're already in December now but I do feel like I want to participate some way in adding more content to the channel up until the new year so I got seven days in Liverpool maybe a little few more days so I figured from tomorrow I'll just go out every day until I'm back in South Wales for Christmas so at least I got a few more videos to bunk up midweek because um like i said in my last channel update saturdays are going to be like the feature video now where which is pr predominantly me going to be abroad so uh, i do plan on going away in january again i'm not sure where to go yet and I'm, i I might invite people on micro solo the idea is still up in the air um so yeah i might go away in january but with the new Tunisia series being added to the channel, which um, I'm going to edit all, there's only seven videos, but I'm going to edit all seven videos today, including the Luxembourg Gent and Bruges, which is coming up. If you guys, you guys are not aware of that, but I got Gent and Bruges coming up. I still got one more Luxembourg video to go up on the channel as well. Uh, that content takes me to February, you see. Which is quite good. So um, if I go away in January again, or solo, I get more videos done if I'm traveling solo. Um, so I could take my channel a few more months into next year, which is great because that allows me to have featured videos done for every Saturday up until like, potentially April. And then Wednesday videos, I can always do the same week. So there's always fresh content on the channel, but there's always a series running at the same time. And I think that's the best way to do that because I can always be well ahead of myself. But on Wednesdays, the content can always be as fresh and as relevant as possible. <clears throat> and I've noticed since I did my Newport Winter Wonderland one, I only did a little walk around there. I didn't really like, you know, participate in any of the games or the rides. Just wanted to walk around there and show you guys because I did that video quite relevant to the opening of Winter Wonderland in Newport. Uh, the views have been really good so yeah wednesday videos i can actually have it so fresh that it could be actually really relevant the content but still on saturdays have a series rollout which is me traveling europe or wh wherever i want to go um i'm talking about europe i'm kind of sick of european cities to be honest and uh brussels if you ask the lads like especially mike um me going to brussels is pretty much a hard ask because um, I've done so much of Europe, it's, it just starts merging into one, especially high streets. You start seeing the same chains and and stuff like that. So European main main cities are kind of like no, it's like a no go for me at the moment. Um, so I want to start just exploring, possibly like smaller European cities or continue North Africa. So I've been to Morocco twice, and I've had. The, both trips have been fantastic and obviously Tunisia um, which is another North African country which is the highest on the continent I could just potentially just just finish off the North African countries which could could be wicked uh, but <laughs> the thing is like a, apart from Egypt which was under British occupation until like to like the mid 19th century um, places like Libya and Algeria don't think I want to go on my own just because of like uh, just like conflict and stuff like that there and I you know what I mean it's, it's nice to go to those places like as as a pair I guess or even Egypt too Egypt's not too bad I got family who got there my family recommend Egypt and they've always recommended me getting the boat down the Nile down to Lux where Valley of the Kings is, I think that's it. But Algeria and Libya, I do need someone to come with me, I think. I think, I don't know, I need to do some more research. Because when I went to uh, Tunisia, if you go on the British website, the British Gov website, there's a red border, it's, it's 75 kilometers wide and they recommend it's a no-go zone if you're traveling, even if it's essential you do not go through there. It says on the British website. But when I was there, I was talking to the locals and I was like, is there conflict on the border? But the locals have this totally different opinion on it. They're like, no, you can go down there. There's like, there's like tourists who come here and they'll they'll hire a four by four because the Sahara Desert's down there and stuff. 
and you just go down there and just like you know explore or you could take a guide and stuff and i'm like is it dangerous the guy's like no look you just go down there so it's really weird for for the british government website to have this red zone and there's quite a lot of red zones around uh tunisia to go there yourself to talk to the locals for them to say it's perfectly safe to go down there so <clears throat> maybe i'm overthinking about it maybe libya and algeria absolutely fine places to go so that's something for me to research now i think become coming to the new year because i'd love to finish off exploring the north african countries that would be wicked that would be a different change to to um different change to european cities and stuff you know it's it's nice to go with it. like like tunisia was so cheap like the first video that is going to go up on the channel um i went straight into a shop and i did a really good deal with a guy like i paid a bit more than what you should do but it's still really cheap for for us westerners to go there you know so yeah so that's kind of the thing at the moment so i'm gonna do like a mini vlogmas which might be seven videos in a row potentially it might be five to see what happens um those videos are going to be solely focused around liverpool so i know some of you guys are based in south wales you like welsh content um but yeah let's see how that goes i've been living in liverpool now coming up to probably like eight years and when i started uploading to the channel I just realized there's no liverpool content <laughs> most of it's like south wales or like parts of south england uh you know bristol birmingham i think birmingham's on the channel stuff like that i've actually lost a video in sheffield it's, it's on there somewhere i've got a free terabyte hard drive and i've dropped the video somewhere in it so i need to try and dig it up Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this channel update video. I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, tomorrow, there'll potentially be the first video of Vlogmas, or I might start it next Wednesday. So, But this Saturday, enjoy uh, more uh, more of the series in Luxembourg. I think I'm travelling from Luxembourg to Ghent, or Ghent, as you meant to say, in this next video. Uh, it cost me 11 euros like and that's the equivalent of traveling from like south wales to like liverpool you know in this country you would have to pay like 100 pounds to do that and for like 11 euro which is like what nine pounds something just shy of 10 pounds you could travel like 300 miles like you know 250 miles it's it's insane it's mad there's a few things I missed out in the, the Tunisia video too. So I did a bit of research on the company, on the country. And I learned about the, the occupations and like next door neighbours, Libya, Algeria and stuff. But I didn't, I didn't mention that it's a closed currency too. You're, you're actually not legal to remove any of the currency, notes or coins from Tunisia. That's something I, I, I wanted to mention in the video. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it. But... Um, yeah, maybe I'll put an annotation on it. I've been using annotations on the video to like, sometimes when you speak in your mind when you're filming, but you don't say it. So I've been trying to annotate what I was thinking at the time. But yeah, it was a closed currency. I, I actually accidentally brought a Tunisian Dina back home, only a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. So yeah, keep an eye out. I might do a mini vlog mess. I'm back in South Wales at Christmas. I might see if Mikey Boy wants to come out. I'm uh, definitely going to be giving uh, Boss Jordan a shout. And uh, yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. So obviously subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you're enjoying what, what you see. If you don't like what you see, then you don't have to come back to you. And yeah, I'll be seeing you soon. So I hope everyone's getting ready for Christmas. I hope everyone's just chilling out. <clears throat> obviously put your family first this time of year. Don't worry too much about the money. If you can't afford to do something, don't do it. It's as simple as that. Don't put yourself under pressure of uh, what everyone else is doing around you. Be yourself. Be a nomad. Whatever. And yes, uh, enjoy this year with your family, wherever you are in the world. And and pick up. One thing I would say is pick up the phone call and ring someone up. Give someone a ring you haven't you haven't you haven't spoken to in a while. Someone you're really close to. Someone that. Obviously, someone in your life who's probably too busy or you've been too busy and you've been trying to, like, connect for a while or something, just pick up the phone. Like, you know, it makes a massive difference to those around you, uh, especially this time of year because it's bad for mental health and all sorts because 
we live in a society where commercialization seems to be the priority here in this country so buying things having design stuff um stuff like that don't worry about that just pick up the phone make connections to old friends um spend time with family and just enjoy exactly exactly what makes you happy and what makes them happy don't bring in things that is you know like you know, don't don't spend your money on something that's just gonna keep someone happy for ten minutes. Uh, time is the most precious thing anyone can have. We only got this one chance on this planet, so yeah, give someone a bit of your time. It's the most precious thing, the most valuable thing to us anyway. So yeah, peace and love. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks to every all the new subs too. I'd like it's been. I usually run ads on the channel, like little ads, just to like boost my videos a little bit on the on the YouTube platform, like like through their built-in ad system. But um, it's been phenomenal what's been happening with the channel quite recently. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's um, part of the algorithm of what because I haven't really looked into it because I've been away. So I'll sit down and figure out what's going on. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, of course, thanks so much. Leave a comment. Um, it's brilliant. Also, check out my YouTube uh, channel. Uh, my facebook page as well there's one over there um so you could keep in contact i'll check out the instagram page as well i've got my little website if you want to check out my artwork see what i do for a living i don't really go into that people always think it's a mystery what i do maybe i'll do a video clarifying all that one day people seem to think my life is simple and it's not <laughs> um yeah so thanks for watching catch you next time